Concussions are at the forefront of discussions involving athletics and player safety. While most of the focus and attention on concussions does not surround the sport of soccer, statistics show that it is beginning to rival that of football. So soccer is a contact sport, and so when you have players going up for the ball, maybe a 50-50 challenge, or you have a, a keeper you know, with a loose ball or a or shot of the goal, there's contact. And it's our job to assess the contact, you know, when, whether it's a foul, but more importantly, you know, the well-being of the player. Experts say that the total number of reported concussions in the United States has doubled in the last 10 years. An estimated 5 to 10 percent of athletes will sustain a concussion during a sports season. And it is vital that coaches, parents, and athletes are able to recognize a head injury when it occurs. Most of the time a concussion occurs when the head hits a force. It can even occur due to a whiplash type injury where the brain moves around in the skull, but there's no direct trauma to the skull. When I went up for the header, the girl cut underneath me, so when I fell, I fell backwards and I landed on the back of my head on the ground. Well, I got up and I kept playing for the rest of the game, but once I ended the game, I was really nauseous and I was really disoriented. While one concussion can be problematic, Returning to play before a concussion has completely resolved can lead to a prolonged recovery and even a higher severity of injury. Traditionally, a lot of people you know, think about signs and symptoms of concussion being loss of consciousness, headache, maybe nausea and vomiting. But really, the signs and symptoms of concussion can be any neurological symptom. It can be from behavioral problems to headache to cognitive difficulties to sleep disturbance. So literally any neurologic symptom can be a symptom of concussion. I went to my regular pediatrician and he told me that I needed to shut it down immediately. No school, no TV, no phone, none of that. So I did what he prescribed for three days and my headaches weren't getting any better and that's when I went to Banner Concussion and they started doing um, more specific concussion tests on me with like reaction time and I took like analytical tests on a computer. Return to play is the most important question on every athlete's mind when they're evaluated for concussion. It used to be that there's criteria based on time to return people to play, but no longer do we return people to play by time criteria, but more by the lack of symptoms. They need to become completely asymptomatic at rest. They need to be able to go back to being a full-time student before they can be a student athlete and not having academic difficulties or symptoms brought on by being in the classroom. But we incorporate sports specific skills with no heading, no contact. As they progressively improve, then we start to add more sports specific skills and we'll slowly maybe bring in a um, progressive heading and then we'll bring them into full, full exertion with contact. Headaches were getting a little bit better. I could gradually start doing physical activity and it took probably the course of three weeks to start playing again. In an effort to bring better awareness to the issue of concussions and promote a better, safer, and healthier soccer experience for young athletes, Arizona Youth Soccer Association and Banner Health have partnered to better educate coaches, players, and parents on how to recognize and properly treat concussions. Most players want to play, so sometimes they'll mask a concussion because you can't see it, and so the adults, the administrators, the coaches have to be, the parents have to be kind of looking over the shoulder as their, their guardian. We all have a role. And I think the key thing I would, that everybody in AYSA, parents, players, coaches, administrators, referees, uh, have to do is be an active participant in having the awareness of what, what's happening and, and not to be afraid to step up and go, you know what, this isn't right. The most important thing I think we have to remember is that when in doubt, take them out. So the first step in that equation is remove them from play. Taking them out for two or three minutes to have a proper assessment by you know, trained medical staff is so much worth in the long run. Always be a game. You know, the game will go on. There's always going to be another weekend to play. But we don't have the ability to kind of turn back time had we not dealt with that you know, situation early on and been proactive enough. For more information or to make an appointment at the Banner Concussion Center, please visit our website.